Hey guys, I'm Tyler, and today I'm going to be overclocking an 8350FX CPU. I'm using a Gigabyte 990FX motherboard, but the process should be fairly the same on any motherboard that supports overclocking. Overclocking the CPU is great because it makes the CPU run faster, but there are of course a few drawbacks. First of all, the CPU will generate more heat than normal, and secondly, the lifespan of the CPU can be shortened. But these drawbacks can be sorted out with proper cooling. I'm using the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, which is an air cooler. But if you want to achieve the maximum possible overclock in your system, you might want to look into a liquid cooler. These can cool your system more efficiently, but tend to be more pricey. Before we get started, I would like to warn anybody overclocking their system to do it at their own risk. So in order to overclock, we need to be able to test. To do this, we will need three different pieces of software. I will be using Cinebench R15 to benchmark the system, Prime95 to stress the CPU, and hardware monitor to monitor the system and CPU temp. You can also find the download links to this software in the description. Now that we have all our software installed, I'm going to run some preliminary tests to get some base numbers. I'll open up hardware monitor in Prime95, start a stress test in Prime95, and watch the temperature in hardware monitor. At stock settings, I can see that I'm getting around 52 to 57 degrees Celsius for my maximum CPU temperature. I want to make sure this temperature stays below around 61 degrees Celsius. Anywhere below this temperature should be safe for the CPU. Remember that prolonged use of the CPU above this temperature can cause permanent damage to the CPU. So we want to make sure we pay close attention to the temperature. As we make small adjustments to the CPU clock speed, I'm going to run a stress test for around 20 minutes to check that it's stable. But once we are done, I'm going to run a longer stress test to ensure that it is stable. After running a few Cinebench tests, the highest score that I could get was 629 CB. The higher this number, the better the performance of the CPU. Now we are finally ready to start overclocking. First we need to enter the BIOS. To enter the BIOS, I hit the delete key when the boot screen appears. Once the BIOS boots up, select advanced frequency settings. We are going to be dealing with the CPU clock ratio setting to adjust our clock speed. By default, this is set to auto, which sets the ratio to 20. Use the plus key to cycle through until it reads 20, then hit it one more time so that it reads 20.5. This will set the CPU frequency to 4.1 GHz. Now save and exit the BIOS and the system will reboot. Now run the same stress test while watching the temperature. Do this for roughly 20 minutes to check if the system is stable. If it is stable, bump up the ratio one more time and do another stress test. My system became unstable and blue screened when I set the ratio to 21.5 or 4.3 GHz. When this happens to your system, you have a choice. You can bring the voltage to the CPU up or simply revert to the fastest stable speed and be done. I chose to bring the voltage up. To do this, we're going to need to boot back into the BIOS. Now choose advanced voltage settings. First, I set the vCore load line calibration to medium. This just ensures that the CPU voltage won't droop. This is commonly referred to as vCore droop. By default, the CPU vCore is set to 1.4 volts. Just like with the CPU frequency, we're going to hit the plus key until it reads 1.4 volts, then hit it one more time. It should now read 1.40625 volts. Now, save the changes and exit the BIOS. Do another stress test and be sure to keep an eye on the temperature. Remember that we don't want it to exceed 61 degrees Celsius. At this point, my system was reaching 60 degrees, so I decided to stop here. But as long as your system is still stable and not getting too hot, you can continue to increase the frequency until it becomes unstable again, and then increase the voltage. Just be sure to continuously check the temperature. I recommend not exceeding 1.45 volts for your CPU vCore, as this can start to cause permanent damage to the CPU. When you get to the point where your system has reached a limit, whether that's vCore or temperature, you should run a stress test for an extended period of time. For example, if your system can run a stress test for 24 hours without overheating and crashing, you're in really good shape. And now the moment of truth. I was able to get a score of 665 CB in Cinebench. Performance wise, that places me above the Intel i7 3770. After following all these steps, you should be getting the most out of your CPU. Feel free to leave any questions you might have in the comments. Thank you for watching.